Hello everyone and welcome back to Recreating Hypixel part number four. Today we are setting up Redis Bungie. I know I said I was originally going to start coding this episode. Once again, that is not the case. We are going to set up Redis Bungie so we can run it over on our server and we can grab stuff from its API. Then we will start coding in episode number five some point next month. I apologize for the big delay. It has been very busy um, today. So let's get straight into the one. Today, we are going to download Redis Bungie, so I'm just going to go ahead and click download. It will take you to GitHub. You can see it has new API features and stuff. Terrific. Yay, we can work with that later on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the Redis Bungie, get the, the latest version, and I'm going to throw it in our plugins folder on one of our Bungie cord configs to start, not both of them. So now it's in one, start our server. I also have our Redis instance running already locally. Um, so then we are going to check in the Redis Bungie configure file. This shouldn't be that big of a uh, setup today. So your Redis server is wherever you're running it. For me, I'm running it on 127.0.0.1, also known as localhost. So I'm going to keep this the default. My Redis port is 36379, which is also the default. So you can see it's running here. Perfect. Um, Redis password, we do not have one running. You can have max Redis connections. Um, you can set this higher if you want, but you shouldn't need it unless you have something that's doing that. This is what we're going to change. This is um, where your server ID is. So I'm just going to name this Bungie dash one. So we have that. Use SSL, we are going to say no because we don't have that running. Register the normal Bungie commands, so should other Bungie commands work? Yes, we do, because remember, Redis Bungie has like glist and all of that. It syncs between the different Bungies. So that's all we have to do. We have successfully set it up. So now if we go ahead and start our server, we are going to make sure everything has loaded successfully in here. And you can see uh, Redis version undetected. So Redis version, your version of Redis 3. Point is not the latest zero. Let me install a new version. I'll be right back. All right, so now I have updated my Redis version locally on my computer. So now I can just go ahead and start the server, and it should say right there, loaded Redis, Redis Bungie successfully. Yay, server ID, Redis Bungie 1. Perfect. So now I can go in here, I can take my config and the thing, and we're going to move over to Bungie cord number 2, paste this in, go in Redis Bungie, open the config, and change our server name to Bungie-2. Perfect. Now if we go ahead and start up Bungie cord 2, and we go back over to our release page here. If we look over their plugin page, it goes over their configuration and everything, the license and the original resource page, which this is uh, not open anymore. They got rid of the original project. So this is the new one, which is awesome. So it is fully open source. You can look at it and figure it out and whatever you want to do. It's pretty cool indeed. Uh, but there you go. You have pretty much, and we have installed it. Everything's working. This is not working because my, oh, my port's still using. But if I go ahead and check Redis Bungie, you can see it is successfully loaded. We forgot I have two versions of Bungie here. So we are good to go. We have Redis Bungie working. We are all good. It is a very short episode today because I do have to hop over to an event. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Next episode, I promise, I promise, I promise we will start coding. So thanks so much for watching today's video. We have Redis Bungie working. We got our setup. We're ready to code. See you next. Is young and so are